Hi everyone, welcome to Classmate Academy. See, in the general studies for SSC CGL, CHSL, MTS and CPO, we started a new series where we are going to explain all the previous general studies questions chapter wise. Today, we are starting with Indian Geography. See, in the Indian Geography, chapter 1 talks about general introduction. Okay, so all these are the previous questions that is asked you from 1997 to 2023 of SSC, CGL, CHSL, CPO and MTS. And like this, we are going to continue the series not only for geography, but other subjects as well like science. In the science, we are going to discuss like biology. In the biology, we are going to discuss about bacterial diseases, viral diseases, deficiency diseases, maybe vitamin deficiency or mineral deficiency, digestive system, respiratory system, nervous system. Like that, all the questions we are going to discuss. Similar thing with in case of polity, economics, history and all these questions. So, try to uh, follow this particular series. It is very, very, very helpful those who are preparing very seriously for the SSC CGL exam. See, apart from classroom teaching, whatever we are providing, we also provide questions in the classroom itself. All these questions that I am solving already provided in the classroom in the form of PDF. So, these questions again I am discussing here and these are all previous questions. So, I will explain some concepts in the classroom and whatever the concepts that we missed, again now we are going to discuss those concepts so that you will have a preparation comprehensively for your exam. Let's start with this series. The first question in the chapter 1 of Indian Geography. See here. Which of the following cities lies to the westernmost longitude? So, what is asking is the longitude. See, we know the longitude obviously will pass us, uh, from your north to south. It is an imaginary line. You take here, this is an Indian map. See, I always say that you have to uh, keep in mind certain areas of India where you can expect a questions not only in SSE but any exam. For example, in this case, the options are Jaipur, Nagpur, Bhopal and Hyderabad. She is asking the westernmost. So, westernmost means this one. See the first option we are having Jaipur. So, here you can see this. Jaipur can be seen here. You can see here Jaipur. Another series is Nagpur. Again Nagpur which is present in Maharashtra. Then followed by Bhopal. Again which is present almost at the center. Then followed by Hyderabad. Here you can see this Hyderabad. So, obviously your answer by seeing that the westernmost longitude is your Jaipur is the answer. So, Jaipur like this you can see this longitude that is passing through this Jaipur. So, your answer is option 1 Jaipur is the answer. But what you have to remember for your exam is very important. You I ask not only the longitude but also you have to remember the latitude as well. Okay, You can expect more number of questions from the latitude also. The first and foremost latitude you need to take is the Tropic of Cancer which is passing through 23 half degrees north latitude. In this the closest cities towards the latitude you have to remember one is Gandhinagar in Gujarat then followed by Bhopal then Jharkhand Ranchi then followed by West Bengal and Tripura and Agartala. Okay, These are the cities but there are certain cities very close to the Tropic of Cancer like Gandhinagar, Bhopal, Ranchi all these are very close to the Tropic of Cancer. So, you have to keep in mind about these cities as well. Similarly, you try to divide this into two to three parts so that you can easily remember. Generally, what I prefer is next after this, you try to remember the Hyderabad. Okay, if you take this Hyderabad, this latitude, latitude of Hyderabad, obviously now whatever the cities that are present above and below this Hyderabad, also you can rem uh, remember. For example, Andhra Pradesh, Amaravati, but not yet confirmed. Then you are having Mumbai on the top and Goa in the bottom. Okay, you can see that. And Bangalore and Chennai. And you can see here, Bangalore and Chennai also very, very close. So, you have to be careful here as well. Apart from this, you can either uh, Delhi also, you can take Delhi, this is one more latitude. So, you can remember the cities above and below the Delhi as well. So, something you try to have a pictographic memory of this Indian uh, map, which will help you a lot in the exam, not only with respect to the longitude, but also with respect to the latitudes as well. And you have to be more careful with those cities that are present in the extreme east also. Because extreme west is okay, Gandhinagar, but you have to remember about the extreme east also. So, do not get confused between Arunachal Pradesh and Nagaland, Manipur and Mizoram. So, obviously, the extreme east will having the main 
state capital is your Kohima here as well. So try to have a, that particular longitude as well. Next question. Duncan Pass is located between. See, for SSC, there are certain aspects which the SSC love to ask the questions, out of which the most important topic is islands. Whether these islands may be Andaman Nicobar Islands or it may be a Lashwadip Islands. So you can expect a lot of questions from these islands as well. Okay. So for example, see here, Duncan Pass is located between. So these are the Andaman Nicobar Islands. You have to remember each and every island. No need. But you have to remember the divisions of this island is very important. For example, if you see here, there is a state called as Cocoa Strait, which is very, very close to the Cocoa Islands of Myanmar. So Myanmar is very, very close to Andaman Nicobar Islands. If you again see this Andaman and Nicobar, how it is divided, it is divided into like North Andaman, then followed by Middle Andaman, then followed by South Andaman and then Little Andaman. So between the South Andaman and Little Andaman, you are having a pass called as Duncan Pass, which was this question. It is between what? So your answer is between your South Andaman and Little Andaman. And this is all with respect to the Andaman. Before Andaman, you are having Nicobar Islands. See how again the division of Nicobar Islands. If you see this division of Nicobar, Kar Nicobar, Little Nicobar, Great Nicobar. So Kar Nicobar, Little Nicobar and Great Nicobar. In the Great Nicobar, you can see the southernmost tip of India, which is around 6 degrees 4 minutes latitude, that is your Indra point. So Indra point is also very, very important for your exam as well. Okay. So in this case, the Duncan passage is between your South Andaman and Little Andaman. So your answer is option 1 is the correct answer. Apart from that, what you have to remember is, remember that Narkondam Island, which is again close to your North Andaman. And again, Barren Island, which is close to the Middle Andaman, very, very important. And where is the capital of Andaman? That is Port Blair. The Port Blair is present in your South Andaman. Okay, these are the important points you have to remember. So try to take the screenshot of this image and try to solve previous questions because many questions will be repeated from this image from now onwards. Now, India lies in dash hemisphere. See, obviously, India lies above the equator. So, obviously, it is northern hemisphere. Similarly, India is east of Greenwich Meridian time. So, India is in the eastern hemisphere. So, your answer is north and eastern hemisphere. North because of latitude, east because of Greenwich Meridian time, that is longitude. Which foreign country is close to Andaman Nicobar Islands? See here, which foreign country is close to Andaman Nicobar Islands? I already explained this. If you remember this image, I can clearly say this, the Cocoa Islands, the Cocoa Islands which belongs to Myanmar, which is very, very close to your North Andaman. So your answer is Myanmar is the answer. Again, Sri Lanka, very far. Indonesia, even Indonesia also share border with India, but maritime boundary. Pakistan, Pakistan is having a land boundary with India. Sri Lanka is also having maritime boundary. So here also maritime boundary, maritime boundary, but we are having a land boundary in this case. Remember that. Next, 82 half east longitude is geographically significant. See why it is geographically significant to India. The reason is very simple. You know, we are having a Greenwich Meridian time where they will take it as a zero degree longitude. Now, east of this zero degree longitude GMT, we call it as Indian Standard Time at 82 degrees and 30 minutes east. So, from here they are going to calculate the time. So, you see the difference. The difference is 82.3. So, you multiply with 4. That will you'll, you'll come to know why I'm multiplying it for in the classroom. So obviously we'll get around some 330 minutes. So which is equal to five hours 30 minutes. So what we are talking about? We are talking about time. So obviously it determines the Indian standard time. So your answer is option A. The standard time of India is now only I said the standard time of India is five and five and a half hours ahead because we are towards eastern hemisphere. So India is towards east of Greenwich Meridian time. So we are five and a half hours ahead of GMT. So your answer is option A here as well. In terms of area, India is the largest country of the world. Obviously, your answer is seventh largest. No doubt about this. But how to remember is very simple. See, if you try to remember the world map, in this case, you have to remember the world map as well. See, in particularly in geography, pictographic memory is very, very important. Try to uh, capture that image in your mind that helps you a lot in the examinations. See here, you know that the largest country is Russia. So after Russia, you are having Canada, then followed by USA, then followed by 
China, uh, then followed by Russia, Canada, USA, China, then followed by Brazil, then after that followed by Australia and then India. So how to remember this? I remember the map here. The map, if you see the old map, somewhere it's Russia is here, imagine. If you try to move in the anti-clockwise cyclic direction, then you'll come to Canada. So we're having Canada here. From Canada, again, you move in the anti-clockwise direction, you will get USA. From USA, completely move till here, then you are having what? China. So after China, you try to move again to the same point where you are having Brazil here. And again, you try to move here, you are having again Australia. Again, you try to move here, somewhere you're having like India. So somewhere you're having like India here as well. So it is like a kind of sparse, uh, spiral kind of thing is there. So obviously you can remember this spiral in the anti-clockwise. Then you can easily you can remember the top seven largest countries. Next, the appropriate length of coastline of India is. See what I am giving is I am giving the entire data. Uh, why I am giving this data? Because there are a lot of questions was giving from okay India. What is the India's total boundary? What is India's land boundary? What is India's coastal line boundary? In the coastal line, main co mainland coastal boundary is how much? Island is how much so enter data I given here because this is the most repeated aspect in the SSC. so obviously the total land boundary is 22,700 kilometers so 22,700 kilometers in this obviously the land boundary is 15,200 plus the maritime boundary is 7,500 so in this uh, total coastal boundary that is 7,500 your land boundary is 16,100 and whatever the remaining that left is your 1400 it forms your coastal boundary with respect to the islands okay so if you remember this data so you can answer many questions so this is land boundary this is coastal boundary in the coastal boundary mainland and it is with respect to the islands so remember this so anyway, your answer here is the approximate length of coastline of India. The data is not uh, accurate here. So anyway, 7,500, it is not that much close, but 6,100, it is close. So I'm going with two. India has a coastline of, again, same like previous question. So your answer is 7,500, where it is clearly given in this case. In the previous question, the options are a bit vague. Which of the following is, uh, cities or towns lies to the northernmost latitude? See, I already said that once one question before we saw with respect to the longitude. Now we are seeing one more question with respect to the latitude. So I gave one particular data here. Try to take the screenshot of this data. So no need to uh, wrote it. Okay, no need to uh, like mug it up. Just try to have a brief idea by seeing the map. That help you a lot. Okay, so what the cities is asking? He's asking. Patna, Allahabad, obviously this is the northernmost with respect to the given options because Ahmedabad again in Gujarat, no, Panchamari again in the Madhya Pradesh. So what is more important is now the answer is between either Patna or Allahabad. So where is Patna? So you are having Patna here and followed by you are having Allahabad here. And another state is Ahmedabad that is also given here. Ahmedabad is somewhere here, you can see this. But the only thing between you is because I already omitted two options. And two options are very close. What are the two options that are very close? One is Patna and Allahabad. These two are very close. So if you see the Patna's latitude, it is 25.61, whereas Allahabad, it is 25.45. So obviously, you can see more latitude in case of Patna. So your answer is Patna is the answer. Allahabad is the wrong one. But Allahabad is very close actually, 25.45. It is 25.61. So sometimes SSC will put two options very close. One of the beautiful examples is this one, where you'll have two very close options not only this i already said that you try to remember some prominent cities that is with respect to bengaluru or with respect to the hyderabad or with respect to delhi and most important is goa try to remember goa because once you remember the goa you can divide the western Ghats into northern sahayadris and southern sahayadris so try to remember goa which is around 16 degrees latitude it is less than 16 but very close to the 16 like 15 to 16 in between but 16 we will take that okay so you can remember Goa and from there also you try to remember the various cities regarding latitude. Which of the following will never get the vertical rays of the sun? See, we know that the sun rays will never fall above the Tropic of Cancer. Okay. 
So now we have to check in the questions which city is present above the Tropic of Cancer and whatever the city that is present above the Tropic of Cancer that will be your answer. So in this case which of the following uh, will never get the vertical rays obviously Mumbai, Chennai and Trinandapuram all are below your Tropic of Cancer so your answer is Srinagar which is above the Tropic of Cancer okay so just to remember here Tropic of Cancer that is more than sufficient. The Andaman, Nico Andaman group and Nicobar group of islands are separated from each other by. See, I already explained this image and asked again to remember this particular image as well. See here now, this Andaman and Nicobar. So, this is entire is your Andaman and this is your Nicobar. In Andaman also we said the division like North Andaman, Middle Andaman, South Andaman and Little Andaman, four parts. Here is Car Nicobar, Little Nicobar and Great Nicobar. Here having three parts. But he is asking this particular channel that is 10 degree channel is the answer which is operating the Andaman with the Nicobar. So, this is Andaman and this is Nicobar. Your answer is 10 degree channel is the answer. The southern tip of India is. So, look at the options one. Cape Comoran or Kanyakumari. So, obviously Cape Comoran and Kanyakumari is the southernmost point of the mainland. Okay. Now, let us one. Point Kelimur. See, Point Kelimur is present in Tamil Nadu. You can see here. And this is also very, very important because here you can see one cape. And this cape is called as Point Kelimur that is present in Tamil Nadu. Okay. Just I am showing the image next time if the question is like, where is the Point Kelimur? You should be in a position to say this in Tamil Nadu. For that reason, I am giving this particular image. And the next one is Indra Point in the Nicobar Islands. So, your answer is obviously Indra Point in the Nicobar Islands. And Kovala in Trinantapuram. No, it is in the Kerala. The latitude passing through the northernmost part of India. So, if you see the latitudinal extent of India, it is 37 uh, degrees and 6 minutes. So, that is your answer. So, it is 38 is your answer. Okay, because it is close to 38. That is the northernmost point that we are having. Which Indian state has the largest coastline? See, he is saying that which Indian coast has the largest coastline within the given options, right? For example, you are having Andhra Pradesh, Maharashtra, Orissa and Tamil Nadu. See, what I say is generally try to remember at least top 3 or 4 coastal states that are having the maximum coastline. For example, you know Gujarat is the state that is having longest coastline with 1214 kilometers. Then after the Gujarat, you are having Andhra Pradesh with 970 kilometers. And after Andhra Pradesh, your answer is Tamil Nadu. Just you reverse these two, 70, you reverse these two, you will get like 907. But within the given options, Andhra Pradesh is there. So, I am going answer is Andhra Pradesh is the answer. So, you have to remember this as well, very, very important. Next, Indian started time relates to, already we discussed this one within this session only, that is 82 degrees of latitude of longitude east, that is Indian meridian or IST, Indian standard time. The length of India's coastline is about, I already said that within this given data is very important. So, your answer is 7500, that is option 3. Which of the following is a coastal districts in Kerala? See, if you see the graph of Kerala, it is a bit peculiar graph. Most of the districts are having coastal uh, boundary, but there are some districts which are not having them. So, try to remember those districts. It is very easy because many of the districts are touching with the coastline. One is why not? Remember this one, very, very important. Palgat, very important. Then you are having Idduki, it is also very, very important. And you can see Kottayam here also, it is very, very important. So, obviously, Palgat, which is not a coastal one. Why not? Again, which is not a coastal one. Idduki, it is again not a coastal one. So, your answer is Kovalam. It is the coastal beach, okay, that you can see in Tirunantapuram. The southern tip of India is, I already said that the southern tip of India is Indra Point in Nicobar Islands, around 6 degrees uh, 4 minutes latitude. Palak Strait separates, you can see this is the Palak Strait that you can see here, obviously it is separating your India and Sri Lanka. Let us see this one, India and Pakistan, no, India and Pakistan we are having a different line that is called as a Radcliffe line. Then India and Burma, no. India and Sri Lanka, your answer is option 3. India and Afghanistan, no. That is called as Durand line. Next one. An example of horseshoe shaped coral islands in the neighbor 
hood of india is see here what is asking coral islands that is very much important coral islands see coral islands are those islands which are formed by the uh, animals belongs to the phylum coelenterata which are polyps okay there are two types of animals one is polyps and medusa that you will see as is in the coelenterates in biology but he is asking about coral islands so i am going to eliminate two options because one is andaman nicobar islands are not coral islands these are the extension of purvanchal that are eastern himalayas on the extreme one is maldives yes maldives is uh, co uh, coral islands other one is lakshadweep it is also coral islands other one is sri lanka which is not a coral island so your answer is either between 2 and 3 so in this in this type of questions where you can eliminate two options you can take risk okay anyway your answer is lakshadweep which of the following places will not get the rays of the sun vertically i already said that whatever the area or cities or the states that are present above the tropic of cancer the sun rays will never never fall vertically they will fall in the slant direction so again same thing i have to check those options where the cities or the areas present above the tropic of cancer so your options are srinagar mumbai chennai and tirunelveli again your answer is srinagar is the answer because mumbai chennai and tirunelveli all are present in the uh, southern part of this particular tropic of cancer the palak strait lies between i already said that this palak strait is present between india and sri lanka again the question is repeated bay of bengal and gulf of mannar andaman nicobar islands no this is wrong rana of kutch and gulf of kambat no this is also wrong lakshadweep and maldives it is also wrong so your answer is option o1 you can see this is the gulf of mannar here the southern most point of india is again same question which is repeated your answer is indira point in andaman nicobar islands or in the nicobar islands that in the great nicobar saddle peak the highest peak of andaman and nicobar islands is located in see the sometimes the question itself can be framed as a question like which of the following is the highest peak of andaman nicobar islands then your answer will become saddle peak anyway he gave that saddle peak is the highest peak of andaman here so let's check in this image where exactly is this saddle peak and you can expect this the saddle peak which is present in the north andaman very very important and in this some important points i already said that port blair that is present in your south andaman but what is more important is here there is island called as sentinel island where a peculiar tribe called as sentinelist tribe will live here which are quite ab aboriginals means they are not at contact with this civilized society and again you are having little andaman uh, here you have a duncan pass then followed by 10 degree channel then you are having nicobar islands like our nicobar great nicobar and all these questions already we saw this image next question question number 27 india area is about dash times larger than pakistan so you know that the area of india it is 32.8 square lakh kilometers so obviously our india is four times larger than pakistan so your answer is four so obviously pakistan means around 8 okay so it is 8 it is 32 so your answer is 32 lakh uh, square kilometers if you see the next one what is the total area of india so whatever we discussed now only so your answer is 32.8 square lakh kilometers that's you have to remember as it is because next one previous question how many time, how many islands are there in the lakshadweep answer is 36 36 islands are there or like 6 square remember like 6 square so these are the first 30 questions in the next session we are going to discuss another 30 questions from the same chapter so we are going to discuss more than 100 questions in this chapter that were asked from 1997 to 2023 thank you